I do like this. Hi there. Welcome back to my craft room. I know it's been a long time since you've been in here. Um, it has not been that long since I've been in here. I'm in here quite a bit. But uh, I just haven't, I don't know, I just haven't felt like filming anything over the winter. So, um, but starting to feel like spring outside, getting warmer, snow is melting. So I thought I, um, I decided I wanted to have some sort of carry item that I could carry watercolor paper postcards in um, just to be able to paint a postcard to mail. Um, so I kind of looked around at all the stuff I already had and couldn't find anything that really would suit. So I decided to make one. And you know how I like reusing old stuff. So anyway, let's get started. First, I need to put some stuff on because my lips are dry. And second, I'm going to open a coffee. Um, this is a UCC coffee from Japan. I got it at Daiso on my last trip to... I got it at Daiso on my last trip to New York. And uh, two things I always must do when I'm in New York, and that is go to a Broadway show and visit Daiso. So the last time I was there, I saw Phantom of the Opera, and of course went to Daiso, and I stocked up on this. But anyone out there who can get a hold of Georgia coffee, because that is my favorite, and when I lived in Japan, I lived on that stuff. Anyway, so I'll link these down below, but there are a couple things I've made from like sort of like reusing stuff and whatever. This is just a sketchbook I carry around sometimes, um, and it's not a good sketchbook, so it's just for quick, I don't know, sort of ideas and stuff, and it has everything I need in it, and it's handy to carry around. And I'll link the video for when I made that down below. The other thing I made recently was, um, well, not too terribly recently, but was this bag that's for journaling stuff. And it's obviously empty right now because I'm not on a trip anywhere. But there's that. And again, I'll link that down below as well. And like right now, I mean, sometimes I find something that will work just perfect. Um, this actually is something I got at Daiso. And it's what I use for my <coughs> little teacup sketchbook, which I uh, actually, you'll see the video for this um, the video, the, the last video. I think it might be the last video. I'll link that down below as well. But, and although I don't take this anywhere because this is just a collection of teacups I have here at home. So when I feel like painting one, that's what I'll do. But I like having everything I need for a specific thing in, in one thing I can just grab. And the reason for that is, although I have this great craft room, um, I don't, I'm not always in here. A lot of times I like to do a lot of my crafts out in the great room in the evening, watching TV or whatever. And although I do have a TV on the wall here, I just, I don't know, I would prefer to be out there in the evening a lot of times. And uh, so I'll just come in and grab this grab two water jars and off I go. I have everything I need to paint another teacup. So that's kind of what I'm looking at here now for something for watercolor postcards. And so my first step was last night I sort of sketched out what I want and drew out the dimensions and everything. And then I took uh, this stuff. I think I've talked about this before. It's just really, really thin um, I don't know actually what it's for, but it was stuff they were throwing away at a theater Michaela was working at, and I, she snagged it thinking I might use it for something. So then what I do is I mock up, um, with that, what I'm going to use, what I'm going to do. And it's not perfect or anything, but it gives me an idea. So this is going to be a pocket, uh, this is going to be pen loops, uh, this is going to be another pocket, and these are going to be two little slip pockets, and then the whole thing will fold up, and there you go. So that's my plan. And what I'm going to use to make it, and this is going to, okay, is a old cat food bag. It's this funny sort of plastic uh, woven material. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, so I've got a whole bunch of these, well, mostly dog food bags, because they're huge 50-pound bags, but I have a whole bunch of them that have been 
opened up and washed and everything and they're up in my loft and my idea at the time that I cut a bunch of them open and cleaned them was that I was going to make tote bags out of them and I just haven't got around to it. Um, but I thought I would use this for that and then uh, one of the pockets in that is going to be a zipper pocket. So again, I've got these, I don't know, I think I've shown you these before, these Google bags because I use them for my journal briefcase that I made. Um, so I want the zipper out of this. And these bags are wicked cheap. They're made wicked cheap. They rip up. I don't know if you put very much stuff in them and I don't know, by the fourth or fifth time you've used them, they're useless. That is not a slam on Google. That is not a slam on the company who made these. They are meant to be throwaway items. They're just giveaways at trade fairs and stuff. So um, they're not meant to last very long and that's fine. But there's some good stuff on here that could be used and I hate to just throw them away. So I'm going to use the pocket off of this one. And to do that, I have to rip out all the seams on the strapping. So I will do that now and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got the zipper off. So we're ready to go there. And hopefully I've adjusted the camera so the top of my head isn't cut off. But if it is, oh well, you don't need to see me anyway. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is start figuring out where I want this cut. I know I do want this part, this picture of the two girls with the cats, along the back side of this, like here. Um, so I'm going to cut a strip. I'm going to try to, I think what I'll try to do actually is cut it. <clears throat> along one of the woven lines. I think we're going to go with this one. I'm going to use scissors instead of my mat. Um. side of it all is 21 inches. Why is this all wonky? This is all wonky. Oh, I hope I haven't completely ruined this. Dandy clips here. All right, so there's my first piece. Five inch pocket there, and this will be a three inch, um, two slip pockets on this side. <clears throat> now I need to cut the pocket slab. <clears throat> Honestly, I use the Purina logo for that. Two pen flap pockets. Mm -hmm. 
And then finally, I need what is going to be the zip pocket. Let me clean up a bit here and I will get my sewing machine out and we'll get started on this. Okay. Okay. I have my sewing machine all set up and I have um, Coats and Clark upholstery thread in here. I, I wanted a stronger thread than just regular thread. So this is an upholstery thread. It's a little bit thicker, stronger, obviously. And the first thing I'm going to do is sew the zipper, one side of the zipper, onto what will be the zipper pocket. Seems to have done pretty well. I think that'll hold up. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is start putting seam binding over the edges of this that will not be seamed. Um, so, first off, I'm going to do this edge here. this edge I actually think this may be a little bit too this is like five inches one two three four five yeah five inches and the postcards are only actually going to be um, six by four so I don't think I want when I pull this up, I don't, I, this is going to be in the way if, if that's all the way up there. So I think I'm going to cut an inch off of this. Make it a little bit, a little bit shorter. Right now I'm trying to figure out where I should put the um, where I need to put the top of this flap. So like I know one of the folds I want right here on the other side of the zipper. And I know that I want this piece here to be folded and incorporate that flap. 
top of that flap so that that cut edge of the bag is covered up. So then the fold will be here, the fold will be here. There we go. I think we're cooking with gas now. I want to mark where the beginning and the end of the pen loops are going to be. So the pen loops are this three quarter inch non roll elastic. And I'm not sure how many pen loops I want. I do have this folded back. I'm going to go through two layers of this um, just because I want this a little bit stronger. Had I thought about that before, I would have incorporated it into the zipper seam, but that's all right. There we go. There's all the pen loops. I obviously made them different sizes and I made a couple flat ones. Um, I really don't know like off the top of my head what I'm going to put in here, so just do it that way. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure that where I sew this to the back side is underneath this. <clears throat> Not by a lot, because this is going to be the zipper pocket, so I don't want stuff going down inside there and messing with these slip pockets. Again, curved corners. There's my other piece. Not thinking straight, I have to sew the edges first before I sew that flap on. Because I don't want that flap sewn down to the edges. I need to be able to lift it, obviously. We're almost done.
The other thing I think I need to do is take this off. I don't need the zipper on both sides. take a break, ponder this for a little while, and decide what to do. All right, I took a little break. I removed the zipper pull that was on the inside of the zipper because I don't need it. And uh, all I did was just bend it back and forth with a pair of little tiny pliers. It's just like aluminum, so it broke easily. I pulled off the seam binding that I had on there already, and instead I sewed the seams down uh, where they need to be. All this stuff is really slippery and slidey. <laughs> slidey? That's not a word. Um, so it was kind of hard to, to sew the seam binding on and hold it all in place at the same time. So now I'm going to try to do it all again. Um, I also had to remove the bottom head in my sewing machine. I don't know what happened, but it was all out of whack. and. Uh, that's what was going wrong with it, and that involves a lot of cussing, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. So, it should all be working good now. I've, I've sewn these seams after fighting with the bottom head for a couple, a couple different times, so I finally think I've got it, um, the problem cleared up. And now I am going to try, try to sew this on again. Uh... I don't, again, I, I'm not sure. I may end up pulling this off and trying to use a wider seam binding because it's um, kind of hard to get up over the zipper and everything. All right, so don't try upholstery thread in your machine, because apparently, unless you have an upholstery machine, it's uh, not going to work. So I'm going to pull this other stitching out. Okay, so there we go. This will be for watercolor postcard paper. This will obviously be for pens and brushes. Uh, let's see what I can pull out of here just to try it all out.
wash, masking fluid, little spray bottle, little bottle of water. Paints. I probably want a couple of these. Or I might actually use these. These are good. And the paper will go in there. Stamps in here for my postcards. This will work or not. Nope, oh, that's a little too long. That's not quite big enough. No, that's too big. Anyway, well, I have a band here somewhere. I'll just put around it, and that's it. Uh, this will certainly be waterproof, tear proof. Um, It'll work out pretty good. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to use, the, I am going to use this because I can um, make it bigger or smaller as needed just by changing the pins. Nice little small packet, complete with watercolors, etc. I don't have watercolor paper in there yet, though. To use for painting watercolor postcards. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good afternoon.